just the perfect. same if you have tea because I, I'm out of coffee. Tea is perfect, sure. Okay. Thank you. As far as ups, ups and downs, I got yeah. plenty of downs. The, the, the worst one of them was when I came back from Italy in 1964. Um, we um, couldn't get back into our loft. And at that time, I wasn't selling beans. Um, I think I had two years in which I didn't even have to put in an IRS state. In, in the meantime, I, I had some kind of a pittance of an income because I was teaching in Cooper Union part-time. It was, was a mess, and I got an ulcer because it was just too, too much. Slowly I started selling, first of all, pastels. I, there's a story that goes, goes with that. I was, at a, I was teaching at RISD as a sort of part-time teacher again. And um, I was invited by the president then to attend as a sort of a decorate, decorative item a fundraising dinner, you know, because she wasn't fundraising me, that's for sure. And at the table, this young New York couple, uh, the guy wanted to know what I did, you know, and I said, um, I'm an artist. And you could see, he was like a pointer. His tail stuck out straight, his ears went up, you know, he said, what's your name? He was hoping I'd say Rauschenberg, you know. And I said, Biff Kahn. Everything drooped. He says, I've never heard of you. So I said, well, that's because you're very ignorant, badly educated, besides which you have bad manners. So the evening was, was, was ruined for me, you know. And this guy was sitting next to me, and I hated his guts. So two weeks later, we get a phone call from Mrs. Ackerman, the guy's name was Martin Ackerman. Mrs. Ackerman inviting us for dinner at, uh, at, at their park, Clark Avenue apartment. But we went. Oh, he also invited uh, um, Kitai and uh, Jim Dine, who were, uh, who, who I used, because they're friends of mine, I used them as, you know, to, to gain credibility. I said, well, you know, they, these are my friends, they think highly of my work, you know, so on. And, um, so I thought, well, you know, he's, he's trying to, 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 to put the lie to the fact that these are my friends. I, I hated him even worse for that, you know. And then the um, dinner bell rang, and we went in the dining room. There was my most recent large painting hanging on the wall, uh, you know, and, and, and the whole thing changed. That's what the party was for, you know. For, for, for this pain, just for, for this acquisition that he'd made. I, I yeah. said, well, this changes things, you know, how, how, how did you do this? And he said, well, I, uh, I, I listened and I could see that you were a person worth listening to. So I went to the gallery and I could see that in what you do, you're the best. So I bought, immediately bought a picture and this is it. And I intend to buy more. And then I intend also to help you get your career in a better footing. Because first of all, your prices are ridiculous. You need to have a book. You need to have a good catalog. You need to have your, in the next show, you need to have all your paintings, um, the major paintings re reserved for museums and, and uh, large collectors. And uh, I said, well, Jesus, I mean, how, how are you gonna do, do all this? Because it'll happen by itself. The book I, I already know who, who to go to and so forth that, that, that I'll help you with. And Marty uh, bought one and gave it to the Met. And, um, and then a few collectors came around and bought, I was ripe, you know, for, for some. What year was that? That was 1979. He was, he was really the key. He launched. He, he launched me. He gave me the right idea. He got, he got me, you know, Borgenek, I uh, was, was not willing to go spring a book or something like that. And then I started selling to, 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 to famous people, you know, Alan Alda. You sold to Clinton recently, no? Yeah, I sold a picture to, uh, three pictures to Clinton. Hillary or Bill? To, to, to Bill for Hillary. Yeah, I'll show you. This all happened without me, without me being there at the gallery. And, and I have a letter from Hillary somewhere. 
just it just says uh, you know that I, I sent her a calendar because it's got her painting in it. Well, let's say I show you this. This is the first painting I made in this in this mode that I'm working on. Well, it was I think last summer, and um, I don't know. I had I had the idea that pink was a great color. It was a very severe color. <laughs> I enjoy I enjoy the the idea of making making something austere and uh, uh, dramatic out of the color pink. Uh, my place in Vermont, it's, it's sort of a side hill farm, and you always see that line of trees going, you know, from the upper uh, left to the lower right. And I've done a lot of paintings, you know, using that, and also pastels. This, case, this again is, is from Vermont. I found out that I really like to paint black. It's indecent. It's indecent? Yeah, you know. Old ladies would get upset. Here, this is, this I consider to be um, a painting that has content. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to be able to tell that to people as a, as a special boon. Um, it was again one, one of those sexual things, you know, where I thought, you know, they, uh, the tree in the middle represented something. And but only maybe, maybe as a second thought. That's not what got me to start it. Another thing that I like to do right now is to work on paintings where I no longer know what's going on. I mean, I still have a sort of a vague feeling that it has to do with foliage and so forth, but I really don't give, don't give a damn, you know. I just, just want the thing to, 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 to be loose and to spread and to have energy. I'm constantly trying to get away from deliberate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can put that on the thing, that's a good one. I want to get away from intentionality and deliberateness. And that's I'm, why, for example, lately, uh, practically my favorite painter has become Jackson Pollock. Mm -hmm. You know, because he really, he had this, he found a way of dealing with painting in such a way that uh, it was just rhythmic and, 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 and uh, get rid of the brush stroke because mm -hmm. it's got too much stuff hanging on it, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And to be, to just let things happen.